This video is brought to you by Nightingale, a sprawling fantasy survival game where you craft, explore, and battle for glory across the mythical Fey Realms. Available February 20th on PC. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at the toughest boss fights in fantasy games. If you've vanquished these fantasy bosses, you'll want to challenge the apex creatures in the world of Nightingale. Nightingale is a sprawling fantasy adventure game where you hunt, explore, and craft to survive and thrive. As a realm walker, you'll craft realm cards that open portals and let you traverse gorgeous immersive worlds with three unique biomes, from burning deserts to magical forests and dangerous swamps. In each realm are creatures big and small to hunt, with apex monsters offering the greatest rewards and challenges. Wield powerful magic and a wide arsenal of weapons, from axes to revolvers. Defeat nightmarish beasts to craft stronger gear and weapons, gather resources, and build your sanctuary. Manage your estate to grow your power and become a Realm Walker legend. Play solo or with up to six friends in co-op. Nightingale is available on February 20th on PC. Number 10, Laxasia the Complete, Lies of P. For those of you wondering if Lies of P could hang with From Software's hardest games, Laxasia the Complete is your answer. Wielding a large greatsword with an electric affinity, Laxasia will initially catch you off guard with her slow bruiser-like techniques. Once she reaches her second phase, however, she'll drop her armor and begin to strike you down with her super-fast attacks and lightning projectiles. Laxasia has quite a lot of feints and is constantly circling behind you, keeping you on your toes at all times. And if you stay too close to her, she'll use an AoE Electric Blast, which will deliver massive damage. Number 9. Thunderbird. Zelda 2: The Adventure of Link. The dark horse of the entire franchise, the adventure of Link as a whole is an incredibly tough game, but things get even worse towards the finale when you face off against the Thunderbird. This boss has an erratic attack pattern, firing endless fireballs that you'll have to dodge while jumping toward it to attack. Be sure to save your magic on the way to this battle, as the only way to defeat it is to cast the Thunder spell to reveal his face, which is the only part susceptible to damage. Number 8. Gana, God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> The Valkyrie Queen Sigrun was an absolute nightmare to deal with in 2018's God of War, so you just know Santa Monica Studios had to one-up themselves in Ragnarok. With a power level of 9, you're gonna have to bring your best gear available while battling the new Queen Gana, even if you're playing on one of the lowest difficulties. With her unpredictable attack pattern, it's almost impossible to see what's coming next and how to react accordingly which is especially annoying considering how much damage she does. To add insult to injury, she has two unblockable grab techniques, which seemingly come out of nowhere. Number 7. Fatalis. Monster Hunter World. As the toughest boss fight in the Monster Hunter series, Fatalis more than lives up to its name. It boasts a large moveset with three different super attacks that guarantee death if you're hit by one. If you fail to break its head by the start of the third phase, it'll become supercharged, meaning all of its fire attacks will turn blue and become even more powerful. It even has a pin move where it'll stick you to its chest and then proceed to eat you. Even with the strongest gear you can get, you'll need to use every bit of help the game offers you, from siege weapons, to mantles, to wall bangs, just to survive the fight, let alone kill it in the punishing 30 minute time limit. <laughs> Number 6. 
Number 6, Sister Frida, Dark Souls 3. I will snuff out these ashes for good. While we have to also give props to Dark Eater Madir for almost making this list, Sister Frida stands tall as the toughest boss fight in the Dark Souls series. Wielding a gigantic scythe, the entire showdown is an endurance test, as after you defeat her first form, she will revive and bring forth Father Ariandel to fight alongside her. If dealing with their fire and ice combo attacks wasn't enough for you, she'll enter her third black flame form, which is even more difficult than the previous two. Conserving your Estus flasks is key in this long drawn out battle. Number 5, The Radiance, Hollow Knight. It has to be said, Hollow Knight gets absolutely brutal towards its endgame. And if players were brave enough to traverse the White Palace in order to get one of the better endings, they're rewarded with this insanely difficult follow-up to the Hollow Knight final boss. The Radiance puts everything the player has learned up until this point to the test, especially their ability to dodge projectiles which take up half the screen. Worst of all, if you die, you have to fight the Hollow Knight again just to reach this guy. And of course, if that wasn't hard enough for you, you can always take the optional challenge of this final boss's even more difficult variation, the Absolute Radiance, in the Godmaster DLC. Number 4, Absolute Virtue, Final Fantasy XI. Considering how many mainline and spin-off titles there are, the Final Fantasy series has a never-ending list of boss fights. So it may surprise you that the toughest one of all comes from its very first MMORPG, Final Fantasy XI. Absolute Virtue is infamous amongst the community as, at the time, it was designed to be unbeatable. When players did find unique ways that could defeat it, Square Enix deemed these illegitimate and updated the boss so that these methods no longer worked. Thankfully, Absolute Virtue has since been patched to a point where it can be defeated, but for the longest time, only a small few could say they felled this notorious monster. Number 3, Orphan of Kos. Bloodborne. If you never got around to playing the exceptional Old Hunters DLC, you missed out on the hardest boss Bloodborne has to offer. Armed with a placenta-like club, Orphan of Kos is absolutely relentless with its attacks, boasting an incredible speed that leaves you very little time to respond and counterattack. Things go from bad to worse when it bites into its weapon and transforms, entering its second phase. Not only will this strengthen all of Orphan of Kos's abilities, but it'll start using a deadly AoE lightning attack that'll cover most of the area and take a large chunk of your health with it. Number 2, Melania, Blade of Mikola, Elden Ring. And I have never known defeat. It's a good thing Melania is an optional boss, otherwise a large number of players would have never finished Elden Ring. Encountered deep within Alphael, Brace of the Helic Tree, Melania wields a large katana with an incredible attack range. The threat of Rot always looms over you with each and every one of her attacks, which are never ending and leave you little time to react. Don't breathe a sigh of relief when you down her, because after a cutscene she reveals her second form, which can easily defeat you if your health is below 80%. You will be breathing the biggest sigh of relief once you finally conquer this demigod. Your strength. Extraordinary. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. 
Number 1. Ishin the Sword Saint. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This game is certainly no stranger to tough boss fights, but this one takes the cake. Right after defeating Genichiro, Ishin the Sword Saint emerges and immediately puts all the previous boss fights to shame. Boasting three ridiculously hard phases, if you haven't learned how to parry up until this point, you're in big trouble. Ishin has incredibly tight openings where you can actually deal damage, meaning if you're not fast enough, you're going to be in for a long one. It goes without saying that only the very best Soulsborne players will vanquish this final boss. Which fantasy boss gave you the most trouble? Let us know in the comments. This video is brought to you by Nightingale, a sprawling fantasy survival game where you craft, explore, and battle for glory across the mythical Fey Realms. Available February 20th on PC.